Hey everyone, my name is Catherine, and today I want to try this paint pulled string art thing. I'm a little skeptical of how it's going to turn out. I don't know whether or not it's going to be successful. The ones you see are all pretty and perfect, and I'm not sure if that's really how it's going to go, but we will try. I still have some lilac... No, it's not lilac. Yeah, no, it's lilac. I still have some lilac paint over here, so I'm going, I've got a blank piece of paper, and I've just cut a bit of yarn off of a ball. So let's dip that yarn into the paint, and I'm going to give up and just get it all over my hands. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Just make sure it's good and saturated and then untangled and then just kind of, I think you just sort of drop it. Ooh, don't get paint on my camera. Just kind of drop it onto the page here. Like that maybe, sort of. Uh, I'm not sure I understand how this is done, but I'm trying anyway. And then... Find something to clean off your hand because you're covered in purple paint. Eh, close enough. And then take and fold that in half and squish it down really good and then hold it flat and grab the string at the bottom and pull the string straight out. And if I did this correctly, it should end up an interesting, draggy shape inside. Hopefully, sort of. Open it up. Huh. Well, that's not so bad. But it definitely looks like somebody, um... It looks like a hand, and one of the fingers is up. I will say that. To me, at least. Let's see if I can't and turn it and envision something else. Mm. Let's... Let's just try that again. We'll just get a different piece of paper. And try, try that again. It, I, I definitely see how it has the potential to be awesome. I'm just not sure I'm going to be able to get it to be awesome. So we'll put a little bit more purple paint on. And put our string back in that purple paint and just kind of slosh it around a bit. And then straighten our string out, hopefully. Oh, come on. Don't be in knots, really. Okay. Sort of straight. Uh, I'm just going to be covered in paint. There's nothing that can be done. Okay, and then just kind of do the same thing a second time. Just sort of drop our string on the page, maybe up towards the top a little bit, and then wind it back and forth some, maybe? Maybe that'll give us a better effect. Okay, and then leave it out, and then wipe our hands off again. Just coat it in paint. All right, let's try holding it and pressing it down really firmly and pulling the string straightish out. I think part of the trick is going to be pulling the string straight because if it goes, like if you let it wind back and forth, it I think creates a wider base. Although I can tell that I'm gonna... Oh, see that one just turned out blobby. I think I had too much paint on there. 
Oh well, we'll let it dry and see if we don't come up with something interesting. Kind of looks like a chocolate fountain. Yeah. All right, let's try one more time. A little bit less paint on the page, or the string this time. The first time was about right, I think. The second time we ended up with too much. All right, one more blank page. Glop the string in the paint. Can you guys tell I'm not a fan of the, the paint? All right. Clear it off a little bit more this time. Oop. There we go. Oh, no. Okay. Well, that's just going to be globby right there. That's fine. And then just sort of maybe curly. Maybe curly is the right way to go with this. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. And then fold it over press and hold it down and then try and pull it straight okay hmm that might be interesting oh now see I like that that turned out looking like fluted flowers that I like we can do things with that let's well we've already got paint all over ourselves let's grab let's see hmm I don't know I'm trying to think of what I want to do oh you know, I know what I want. Um, let me let me clear my hands off a little bit because I don't want to get paint all over the place. But I know exactly what I want for this, the direction that I want to take this in. Um, I have got some. I don't see, and I've already got paint all over it. Seriously. I didn't get my hands clean enough. But I have got some Miss Sparkle and Company um, floral stamps that include leaves. So let's see if we can't get our hands cleared enough off that we can open it up without just coating it in paint. Let's see. And pull these girls out and open them up. Ooh, fresh stamps. Okay, and a stamp block. All right, so let's. sticker right on the middle of the block there and then I think do I want really bright green or do I want like a sort of teal I think I want really bright green let's see how the really bright green goes all right just lay it on the stamp and then put the stamp right at the bottom I think squish it down there we go I like that Let's see if we can't get a few more passes out of that before we have to put more on Okay. 
no paint, no paint, no paint. All right, and one more, sort of like that maybe. All right, here we go, and then set my stamp pad back aside and set that over there for cleaning. And then let's see what we have. Well, maybe colored pencil, maybe like a little black just around the bottom edge. No, I don't like that. Hmm. Well, I'll mirror it on the other side just to keep the symmetry, but I'm not a fan of the colored pencil. I might have to go over to marker. Let's see. Let's see. Ah, here we go. I know what I want to do. I've got a I've got a Faber Castell a B pit artist pen and these are actually brush tips. So let's see if we can't get something a little Yeah, I'm liking that better. And let's go in underneath here and mirror it over here. And just right over there, just to give these flutes of flowers just a little extra definition. And then maybe right on the inside of there. Yeah, those are turning out nicely. I like them. Let's see. Hmm. And then maybe right inside of there. And then, oh, this one should go right like that. And then I think freckles just on the underside of each of the cups. go and then maybe something that follows just this central stem down yeah that pulled it all together I think hmm. well I like those they look sort of Sort of like foxglove. What do you think? I could do more with this, but part of doing art is knowing when to stop. Stop do work doing that. Stop working on it. Be done. So I think, and I say this as I pull my pen back out and start uh, outlining the spines of the leaves again. 
I think I should be done. I think I should stop now. Yeah, I really do think I should stop now. So that's what I did today. Trying different string art, working it out, ending up with something that I actually kind of like. It, I think, will take a little bit of practice if you want to try it, but it's definitely worth trying. I will see you guys all later, and oh, remember to subscribe. Bye!